Heck yeah. Why not? Make it look like a bass shot. <laughs> there we go. Nice shot, dude. That is a gorgeous cutty. That is a gorgeous trout. Like you can see the dots and it's and it spins the spots through the light. Like everything about that fish. Holy cow. Super, super dark red. That's how you can tell it's a cutty. It's a cutthroat trout. That is a gorgeous nice. fish. She ran it in. Heck yeah, dude. Ooh, it's a nice one, too. Sorry, John. <laughs> Keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. Nice job. Ooh, you don't lose him. You can lose him. Oh, I got him. <laughs> He's just throwing around the puddle. All right, ready? Then wet your hands. Oh, you're good. You wetted your hands. Pick them other way. Other way. Flip your hands around. Just like both hands underneath them. Lift them up so it kind of leans like that. Oh, it's all good. Hold them up. Pretty quick, quick. Clean them up. Clean them up. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Let's go ahead and put him in the water. Okay, put him in the water. You get nice job, Asher. Clean release too. I was worried there for a second, but he's gone. Yeah, dude. 
plane release real fast. That was good, dude. Nice job. <laughs> This right here, it's Indian tea. Bush isn't doing so hot, but that's what this stuff is. Heck yeah. Let's see it. Using the fancy camera for this recording. Perfect. All right. <laughs> She's gone. What are they? Oh, nice. Yeah, all the little, all the little white dots in there. Not these ones, but these ones. Okay, there you go. Alright, so what we got here is what, Christian? Cranberries. Bunch of wild cranberries. All these little green dots in here. Yeah. Go ahead and try not to drop one. Yeah, tastes like a blueberry. It's like a, like a uh, unripe blueberry. <laughs> Alright. I didn't know we had wild cranberries here in Washington. Yeah, we also have cranberries. Oh, I just hear one. There's our catches of the day right there. Cook these up. I think they'll be pretty tasty. All right, well, the sun's starting to set. John's getting his last cast in here. We're gonna go home, cook up some trout, and uh, call that one a day. Got a bunch of trout, mostly on a bunch of rooster tails, a couple of panther martins. Uh, did a little bit of fly fishing. Caught one on a uh, little black fly. What do you think about this fly? You don't get a snake as much. <laughs> you don't get what? A snake as much. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a nice snake, isn't it? Yes, that's good. Go ahead and insert it in the cloaca. This is how you clean a trout here in your house. <laughs> First off, you don't do this. You go ahead and just cut it. The knife's a little bit dull on the tip there. Just go ahead and cut it. And then on the top of a fish, they got like a little bit of a bump. You'll feel it on their forehead. And just behind that bump, you cut back. Go part way down the fish. Reach in. Go ahead and pull those. Oh. Got those guts right there. Your thumb. Clean out that vein right there. And rinse it. Hey, beautiful. It's a cutty. Love you. Good job, buddy. Have a seat, Alright, so I got some lemon cut up, wedged in there. Threw some old bay, patted it down with my finger all over it. Heated up pan right here. Let's see if she's good. Yeah, I hear a little bit of sizzle. Okay. Not as much sizzle as I'm hoping for. It'll catch up. Okay. Not enough room on the table right now, but here's my dinner for today. That's it. That's the end of this one. Have a good one, guys.